Hey everybody, today this video is going to be a quick elf haul. Um, I ordered a few things a few days ago and they arrived today. Here they are. Uh, first of all, I got one of the brand new um, tinted moisturisers. Um, I got this in porcelain, which is the uh, lightest shade, obviously. Uh, so yeah, it's a tinted moisturiser with skin enhancing aloe, cucumber, vitamins A, C and E. So yeah, with this you get 25ml. Um, it says that it's for very fair skin tones with yellow undertones. So that's probably me, I don't know. It'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, I like the packaging that it comes in. It comes in this little box. And then oops, there's your actual tinted moisturiser. Um, it reminds me, the packaging reminds me of the uh, Max Factor Experience Foundation. Um, don't know how good the coverage is of this. Let's have a look. Seems to have quite decent coverage for a tinted moisturiser. And it seems to suit my skin. Although the skin on your face is completely different to the skin on your hand, so we'll see. But yeah. That was the studio items are three pound fifty. The normal items are one fifty. So that was a studio item. So that was three pound fifty. Which, if you think about it, for a tinted moisturizer, you can't go wrong. And this packaging is gorgeous. I like it a lot. Um, I also picked up a mineral eyeliner. And eyeliner. It's not an eyeliner. It's a lip liner. And this is in a nudie color. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, the shade. Uh, it's called Peachy. And there's a swatch. So it's really, really pigmented. It seems quite creamy. I haven't used it on my lips yet, but it does seem quite nice. Um, then I got one of the items from the Normal line, which is the £1.50 line. And it is a lipstick. It's this one here. And it's called Classy. And it's beautiful for the price, £1.50. The packaging is really well made actually. I was expecting cheap tack, but it is made of plastic, but it is quite decent quality, which surprised me. And the actual lipstick is quite pigmented as well. I have got it on my lips now. And I really, really like it. It's sort of a, a dusty rose colour, I'd say. It's really, really nice. Um, and yeah, for £1.50 it's really nice. I was glad because most cheap lipsticks I've found are generally shimmery finishes, whereas this one is a sort of a full cover, um, sort of satiny sort of finish. But yeah, it's really really nice. I do like it quite a lot and I'm glad that it's not shimmery. So I got that. And then I got two of the new brushes. So I got the angled contour brush, which looks like this, and it's sort of angled specifically for doing contours in eyes. Uh, it's quite, um, what's the word? I can't think of the word. <laughs> dense, that's the word I'm looking for. So yeah, it's quite dense, and I'm quite looking forward to using that because I don't think MAC have a brush that's like this one. So that'll be interesting to see. And then I got the stipple brush, which looks very much like a MAC brush that we all know and love. It's not like the MAC brush at all. It's dense its density isn't very good at all. It's very, very flimsy and you probably I don't know, you struggle to do your foundation with it, I think. Um I'm probably gonna use this for blush. Because I do like using my MAC stippling brush for blush. Um, one thing I am noticing just running my fingers through this is there's quite a lot of shedding for some reason. I don't know if it's just like loose hairs, but yeah. So that's the stippling brush. Um, I will try it with foundation and see how it goes and give you guys a review if you want it. Um, so yeah, that is my video for today. Thank you for everyone for watching and I'll see you all again very soon. Adios.